Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my live. So today we are talking about why you can't keep your eyes on your own paper. Why you can't stop looking at what everyone else is doing and diet hopping and you've tried all the diets, nothing's working, and you can't seem to commit to anything. So today we are talking about all of that and we're relaying it basically to Google Maps. So like what I talked about yesterday in my post is you don't question Google Maps. You would trust Google Maps with your life. Google Maps has proven time and time again, it will get you to point A to point B. You trust Google Maps so much that even if you were going to be given an alternate route, someone's like, oh, why don't you're going to go there? Why don't you just take this? You'd say, no, no, thanks. I'm just going to put it in Google Maps. We trust Google Maps so much that we turn down alternate routes because we're just going to do whatever Google Maps says. That is trust. But the opposite happens in a weight loss journey. We don't turn down alternate routes because we trust what we are doing so much. We do the opposite. Most people, when they're in a weight loss journey, you don't fully know if what you're doing is even the right thing. So you're so busy looking at what everyone else is doing that the second you get an alternative program to what you're doing, done. I take it. And you end up diet hopping again and again and again and again. So you're jumping from diet to diet and it all stems from one single thing. You have zero confidence or trust that what you're doing is going to get you to the end result. The issue is there are certain things in our life that give us that certainty, like Google Maps. We know Google Maps is going to get us to point, from point A to point B one way or another, barring, you know, a satellite dysfunction, whatever. But we trust Google Maps. It is reliable. It is proven. So we use it. It is a golden standard. Amazon Prime, you have two-day shipping, bar, of course, barring COVID, things like that. It is going to be there in two days. You even know when it is on the way. There is so much guarantee in our life, quality guarantee, all those good things, which is great as a consumer. But the issue is there is no Google Maps and there is no Amazon Prime for weight loss. You can't apply those concepts of absolute certainty to a weight loss journey, to almost anything else. I mean, let's say, for example, and I have a couple notes here because I wanted to get through some good stuff. So if I keep looking off to the side, I'm actually staring at um, the notes I wrote on this. But I'm, <laughs> y'all know I'm big on analogies. This isn't going to surprise anybody. But let's kind of tie it to like some other avenues instead of just weight loss. What if you needed an elective surgery? It wasn't emergent. So you got to say in the matter that let's say you needed shoulder surgery. Can any surgeon in the world give you a 100% money back guarantee that your shoulder is going to be perfect after that surgery? Hell no. They can't. No one can give you that 100% guarantee that you're going to lay down on that operating table, then you're going to come out and everything is going to be perfect without question, no exceptions. That level of guarantee does not exist in healthcare. Let's take it away from healthcare. What if you had to go to court? What if you were on trial for something big? What if you did something really stupid or something and you needed help? You needed a lawyer. Can any lawyer in the world guarantee they're going to win that case? They are going to get you money or they're going to make sure you don't go to jail no matter what. They can guarantee that result. <gasps> no, they can't guarantee that result. Just like no surgeon can guarantee the outcome of a surgery just like no weight loss coach or program can guarantee with the certainty of Google Maps that you are going to get the exact end result. But if you're waiting around for a 100% guarantee in all avenues of your life, you're never going to get a surgery that you probably need. You might go to jail because you never hired a lawyer. You may never even start a weight loss journey because you're so busy waiting for a 100% money back results, everything guaranteed because we are so used to Google and Amazon Primes and just purchasing products. That's not real life. So if we ever wanna go anywhere and move forward, how do we make those decisions? 
is we have to put time and effort into homework to make the best decision that we can, that we are the most confident in that is going to give us the optimal outcome. So instead of buying the first program you see that is you know, flashy, instead of buying the cheapest trainer that you can find, instead of downloading the free detox liver sh thing with a shred on the side, or a free workout video, or, you know, a program from a girl that you love the way she looks, so clearly she definitely has it all figured out, and I, I just want to do that program. Instead of just making an impulse purchase that you might have buyer's remorse on, spend some time making a decision so you can get behind and trust the process that you're on in order to stay on a weight loss journey long enough to actually get results. Think of how long you probably spent before you committed to buying the last pair of expensive jeans you bought, or if you were debating between some shoes to go with an outfit, or what if you were gonna change up your hair and you're gonna change your hair color or do a completely drastic cut. Do you have, how long would you spend on Google Images or Pinterest researching or if you know if you're gonna have you know if you're dating someone you're gonna meet their parents for the first time they were coming over for dinner you were cooking how long would you spend researching the best recipe of something you know they would like to make but we make an impulse purchase on a weight loss program purchase on a weight loss program and expect excellent results you need to put in the effort to build confidence in the program that you choose so you actually stick with it of course you're not sticking with your current weight loss program because you're not sure if it's going to work. I wouldn't put in the effort if I wasn't confident that it was going to work. So you need to put in the work up front to invest in who you think is going to be the best option to get you the end result. Notice I said who you think, not what you think. You need a who, you need a coach, you need a person to help you, not an online robot that you can't ask questions to if you're serious about your weight loss journey. So what it boils down to, since we do not have a Google Maps in the world of weight loss, sorry, there's something going on here. Y'all know how I feel about my hair, all about the hair. All right, so we don't have a Google Maps. So what matters to you? What would make you confident? And I can't answer that question. Is it someone who's been through it before? Someone who's walked in your shoes? You're gonna trust them. Like if I didn't have Google Maps and I needed to go somewhere, I would probably trust someone who has been there before and driven that road more than someone who hasn't and just heard about other people that did it. So maybe you need to work with someone who's been in your shoes. Maybe you just need someone who has proven results. Someone that you like, okay, I asked for direction. I, I heard like six other people ask for directions and you gave them all directions and I know they got to the end result. So maybe you need proven results. Maybe you need a referral from a friend. Maybe you need results from someone that you trust. You, or maybe you need someone that can explain the process of how it's gonna happen. If you're gonna pick a lawyer for a really intense trial, maybe you want someone who's gonna explain the in and outs of why things are happening as they're happening so you feel like you're involved in the process. You need to figure out what is it that makes you feel confident in your program, in your weight loss efforts. You need to put in the work ahead of time so you can choose based on what's gonna make you feel the best. You need to find someone that you feel like has the right plan, someone that has your back, someone that's invested in you, someone that meets your criteria to give you the confidence that you made the right choice. If you're picking a surgeon for an elective surgery, you're probably gonna go with someone who came with great referrals. You know someone who's worked with them and had a good experience. Maybe they've actually had a similar injury and know what the rehabilitation process is going to look like. You need to figure out what's going to make you feel actually confident in a decision that you're making so that when you make the decision, when you make the choice, to go back to those analogies, when you pick the surgeon for a surgery, of course they can't give you a 110% money back guarantee, but you know you pick the right one that you think has the best shot at meeting your goals. If you're going to court, you did the homework. If you had your pick of the litter of whatever lawyers you can afford or whatever, but you did the research. Maybe they've won a lot of trials right around the topic that you need their help with. When you hire a weight loss coach, 
What matters to you? Do you want someone who's walked your, in your shoes? Do you want someone who has proven results? Do you want someone that's gonna explain every step of the way? What is gonna make you feel so confident, confident enough that when someone gives you directions, you say no thanks because I have Google Maps? You need to be that confident that you chose the right weight loss coach. Coach, not online calculator. You need to be that confident you chose the right weight loss coach so when you see someone at the gym go, oh, I just do fasted cardio and I eat um, 1,100 calories a day, you get to say, no thanks, I'm not interested in your alternative because I have the Google Maps of my weight loss journey. I am that confident that I made the right choice. That is why you can't keep your eyes on your own paper, you can't stop seeing every other skinny fit chick at the gym and wondering what the hell she's doing and why aren't you doing it because you don't look like her, and it's why you can't stick to your diet long enough and then you just keep hopping to the next one, is you have no confidence that you picked the right one. Of course you're not gonna stick with it, of course you're gonna try the other thing because you don't know if what you're doing is even gonna work. If I didn't have any confidence that studying in grad school was gonna make me a physical therapist, I wouldn't have studied. But it had the best likelihood at getting me that end result, so I did it. So you need to put in the effort. Girls, I know you spend a lot of time picking out your new hair color. I know you spend a lot of time picking out your shoes if you're going on a date. So you gotta spend a lot of time and put in the effort to find the right weight loss approach, instead of just going for the quickest click impulse buy, then expecting these amazing results, when in reality, you're, you, never, you didn't do your homework. So you don't really trust it. So you're not really sure if it's going to work. So then you keep looking at everyone else's paper. You gotta have confidence in your program. And the only way to have confidence in your weight loss journey is to do your homework and figuring out what it, what you need to be, what you need to have to be convinced that it's going to work. Pursue that. Often, if you're pursuing the cheapest, fastest, quickest, trending, fancy, sparkly, tan, fitspo, those don't always equate to long-term sustainable results. So what are you looking for and what do you think is actually going to get you there. You need to develop confidence in your pursuit of weight loss in the journey you picked, much like you have confidence in Google Maps. That is the biggest thing that you guys are missing is confidence in your weight loss program, and it's why you can't stick with anything long enough to actually get results. So that is really what I wanted to hit on is, you can't keep your eyes on your own paper because you didn't study for the exam. Do your homework, study, pick the right coach, come in informed, come in prepared, and you're not gonna be looking at anyone else's paper because you're going to know, I got this. So if I hit on some triggers, you know, someone who's walked in your shoes, someone who has proven results, someone who has referrals, someone who wants to teach you the process so you understand why you're going through things, hmm, funny enough, I check all of those. As a coach, I've lost weight, I've proven results, a lot of my clients are from referrals, and I'm a big educator. If I can't give you a good solid reason why we're doing something, you probably shouldn't do it. I wanna teach you the how and the why so you can lose the weight and keep it off and you don't have to be a client forever. God, hell no, I don't want you to be a client forever. I wanna help other people too. So that's what I really wanted to touch on you guys is spend enough time to develop confidence in your weight loss program before you do an impulse buy. That's why you're diet hopping. You have no confidence in what you're doing. So. Figure out what's going to make you feel good about your diet program and stick to one. So if you have any questions, drop them below in the comments. I will field them as they come in um, later on. I'll save this as an IGTV. Hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks for watching as always. Catch you later.